hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to derive time independent schrodinger wave equation using classical wave equation for this consider a stationary wave associated with a particle of mass m traveling in x direction the wave equation for the wave associated with this particle can be written like as psi is equal to a sin 2 pi x upon lambda label it as equation number one where psi is wave function a amplitude x displacement along x axis and lambda is wavelength differentiation of equation one with ref with respect to x will give d psi upon dx is equal to a 2 pi upon lambda into cos 2 pi x upon lambda equation number 2 differentiation of equation 2 again with respect to x will give d square psi upon dx square is equal to minus a 4 pi square upon lambda square into sin 2 pi x upon lambda equation number 3 we can rearrange equation 3 like as d square psi upon dx square is equal to minus 4 pi square upon lambda square into a sin 2 pi x upon lambda equation number 4 from equation number 1 we can see that a sin 2 pi x upon lambda is equal to psi so replacing this term by psi will give d square psi upon dx square is equal to minus 4 pi square upon lambda square into psi equation number 5 according to de Broglie equation lambda is equal to h upon mc making a square of both the side of this equation will give lambda square is equal to h square upon mc square m square c square equation number six putting the value of lambda square in equation five will give d square psi upon dx square is equal to minus 4 pi square m square c square upon h square into psi equation number 6 we know that the total energy E is equal to kinetic energy Ke plus potential energy Pe or we can write E is equal to half mc square plus V where half mc square is the kinetic energy and V is potential energy this equation can be rearranged as half mc square is equal to E minus V or we can write mc square is equal to 2 E minus V multiplying both the sides of this equation by M will give M square C square is equal to 2 into e minus v into m this is equation number 7 putting the value of m square c square in equation number 6 will give d square psi upon dx square is equal to minus 8 pi square m into e minus v upon h square into psi or d square psi upon dx square plus 8 pi square m into e minus v upon h square into psi is equal to 0 this is equation number 8 this equation is called Schrodinger wave equation for a particle moving in one dimension say x direction Schrodinger wave equation for a particle moving in three dimensions x, y and z 
can be written like as d square psi upon dx square plus d square psi upon dy square plus d square psi upon dz square plus 8 pi square m into e minus v upon h square into psi is equal to 0. Equation number 9. This equation number 9 is a very popular form of Schrodinger wave equation. This is also called time independent Schrodinger wave equation. Sometimes this equation is also represented as nabla square psi plus 8 pi square m into e minus v upon h square into psi is equal to 0. Equation number 10 where nabla square is equal to d, d square upon dx square plus d square upon dy square plus d square upon dz square. This term is also called Laplacian operator. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.